Hello children. How are you all? Are you all good? I am also good. Thank you children. Today we are going to learn a topic in math. Very interesting and we use it in our everyday life. See, uh, mommy gives you so many things, right? When mommy gives you a few things, you will share with your brothers and sisters, right? See, if mommy gives you this many color pens, you will share with your brothers and sisters, right? See, uh, these many color pens, color pens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mommy gave you these many and you want to share 4 with your sister. Okay, what did we do here? We have 9 and we have taken away 4. So this is called, what is this called? Subtraction. Did you remember? You learned this in grade 1 also, right? This is chapter 4 in your textbook. What we did, take, we taken away, right? See, subtraction means taking, subtraction means taking away. What is the symbol for subtraction? The symbol for subtraction is minus. We call it minus. Did you remember? See, uh, in grade 1, we learned to draw lines and strike off. And we used to draw pictures and strike off and find out the remaining, right? Now, see, we have 9 color pens and you shared 4 with your sister. And how many remaining? 5, right? See the number from which we are subtracting, that is, that is minuend. The number from which we are subtracting is minuend. The number which we are subtracting is subtrahend. And the answer in subtraction, the answer in, in subtraction is difference. Understood children? Now we are going to learn about properties of subtraction. We have three properties children. This is the first one. Subtracting zero. Whenever you subtract zero from a number, the difference is the number itself. See the same color pens. Color pens. Nine were there. And we are taking away 0. Means we are not taking anything away, right? So, when you subtract 0 from a number, the difference is the number itself. The difference is the number itself. Means 9 minus 0, you will get 9. Understood? See, 17 minus 0, what you will get? Same number. 100 minus 0, what you will get? The same number, right? Very good. This is our property 2. Means second property. Subtracting the number itself. See the same color pens I am taking. 9 we have and I want to take away 9. See we have 9. I am taking away 9. How many were remaining? 0, right? When you subtract a number from itself, the difference is 0. 9 minus 0, 9 minus 9 gives you 0. See, 17 minus 17 gives you 0. 100 minus 100 gives you 0. Understood children? Property 3. Third property, subtracting 1. See, the same color pens I am taking. We have 9 and I am taking away 1. We have 9 and I am taking away 1. How many were remaining? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 minus 1 gives you 8 means gives you the number before 
Okay. When you subtract one from a number, the difference is the number before. See, uh, when we subtract seventeen minus one, seventeen minus one gives you sixteen. Seventeen before number is sixteen, right? Hundred minus one. What is the number before hundred? Did you remember? That is ninety nine. Did you understand, children? Children, now you learn how to copy notes into classwork. Now this is your textbook, page number one hundred and eleven. This page number one hundred and eleven. See, take your pencil. Take your pencil and underline this. Underline this. Taking away is subtraction, and then underline the sign for subtraction is minus. And now, see properties. When you subtract zero from a number, the difference is the number itself. And then, one example also underline. Now, second property. When you subtract a number from itself, the difference is zero. I am underlining another example. Third property. When you subtract one from a number, the difference is the number before. Underlining another example. How you will copy is open your classwork, open a fresh page, note down today's date, and note chapter four subtraction. Then write this line. Then the sign for subtraction is minus. Then copy one example. Then keep this heading properties of subtraction, and the right property first property example, second property example, third property example. Hope you understand, children. Until we meet next time, have a nice day. Bye, children.